Obesity is a growing health concern in Canada. Many people who fall into the obese category know they should be more active, but don't know where to start. Typically, individuals realize they should be more active. There's some cute action, so it might be, you know, their daughter's wedding, or it might be that they got a health scare, what have you, and then they're gung-ho to go out and start exercising. So they join a gym, or they go out and they start exercising, or try a running program right away, and within a week, you know, they're back to square one. They've got an injury, or they went out too hard, and they found it really unenjoyable, what have you. And so what's unique about the program that we've developed here is that we actually get them to learn key skills, so goal setting, how to self-monitor their progress, how they're feeling, feeling confident about going out there and exercising and encouraging them to have that sense of pride in what they've done. And the other unique aspect of this is that rather than telling people to just go to the gym, we're teaching them how to do a novel form of exercise, which is high intensity interval training. So we have individuals from all walks of life come in here thinking that they'd never be able to run and we get them up there working vigorously and you know they're in and out in less than 20 minutes. It's that short duration of exercise that UBC Okanagan researchers feel is the tipping point that may encourage more individuals to be active and therefore more healthy. The number one barrier that people say why they don't exercise is I don't have enough time. So we were studying this type of exercise where you're doing short bursts of exercise. So they're 30 seconds to a minute long. You take a break and then you repeat it. And you only have to do that a couple of times. We do it between four and 10 times in our workout. And we said, well, if the number one barrier is lack of time, let's remove that barrier and make it really time efficient. The coolest thing about it and what we've witnessed when we did a pilot study this past year is we really boost people's confidence. They start thinking of themselves as an exerciser. They start you know, thinking that they can actually run or attain new goals and it's super cool to watch somebody come in here who's been inactive for 10 years and we you know, show them that yeah, they really can do it. They gotta do something hard for 60 seconds and then they get a break. And because it's cut up into such manageable pieces. We've seen some real success with, with individuals just feeling proud of themselves and, and really feeling confident that they can go out there and do it again. This clinically applied research, based in the real world, is putting the UBC School of Health and Social Development at the forefront of its field. The school is involved with trying to understand health at a lot of different levels, so from a very low, almost molecular level in terms of un understanding what's going on within systems within the body, all the way up to a population health level and how we can communicate, I guess, across those different levels to better improve health and to make sure that people are leading as healthy lifestyles as possible. We were able to run a pilot study that had 40 individuals from the Okanagan community who came in and, and they tested this out for us, essentially. We had 20 of them do the continuous, moderate intensity walking training and 20 of them did our high intensity interval training. And we saw some pretty promising results. So we saw that the interval training clearly worked to improve their health and in some aspects it might be better than the continuous walking, but also that people tended to like it and they tend to, to stick with it. When the graduate students who are doing all the testing, you know, they get to bring these people back in at one month, at six months, 12 months after, and these people kept it up. Like, I don't, you know, it's so rewarding to see these people come back in and, and actually have done it. The research is seeing immediate results. Not surprisingly, the people that have been able to keep it up on their own, they've lost you know, inches off their waist, their fitness levels skyrocketed, like, and it's, you, you just pat them on the back, like, this was all you, this wasn't us at all, you know, we weren't out there supervising your exercise sessions, you did this all by yourself. I don't think it's going to mean we're, it's going to be drastic changes to our public health guidelines or anything, but instead of the physical activity guidelines stating, you know, you should aim for 150 minutes of continuous exercise per week, if some short duration, high intensity interval training was included in those physical activity guidelines.